Hey guys, Rebecca from Element. So I um, have an order, had an order for uh, quite a few of my um, aromatherapy passion bath bombs. Um, and it's made using my Heaven's Cloud recipe. And um, I figured I would kind of do a how-to uh, tutorial video. It's not step-by-step, -step, but I will give the um, amounts and recipe on um, how I do it. Uh, you don't have to add any botanicals or anything extra into it, but this is an aromatherapy, so I, um, um, I always I make my own botanical blend. Like this is, um, it's uh, chamomile, lavender, some rose, um, some other things. It's dried, all organic. I make my own. Um, I already made um, a couple out of this uh, recipe. It's um, this is what they. Um, look like with the botanicals and um, I just actually made uh, molded this one a few minutes ago and it's already getting rock hard believe it or not um, so for this recipe guys for my heaven's cloud recipe um, it's it's a big batch so you would have to um, change the ratios if you don't want to make such a big batch but it's um, a whole cup of oils and it's two-thirds cup of your hard oils and this one was coconut and cocoa butter and then top it off the rest with um, your soft oils. I use this um, organic chosen blend um, that I love. It's Sephola, avocado, coconut and then um, the hemp seed. Then you will need um, one cup of tapioca starch or corn starch. Either one is fine. Um, one cup of the uh, dead sea salt. You can use any salt you want. Um, two cups citric acid, four cups baking soda, one cup, um, this is organic goat's milk powder, but you can use any, um, powdered milk you want. Um, a half cup of tapioca starch, and you can, um, use clay if you want, because it's used as a hardener. And then I add, um, a half cup of the, um, very fine. This is, there's two kinds of the pink Himalayan in here. I've got the fine and the rough and then the pink Himalayan. And what I do is, and one ounce of, um, fragrance or, um, uh, essential oils. And, um, this is the batch it makes. And I made this, I added my, um, my colors and, uh, the oils and spritz, 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 spritz with alcohol, um, to bind it all together until it um, forms like this. Um, it's a hot day today, so I'm probably going to have to re-spritz and mix again. For this one, I have, um, you don't have to do this. This is right here, all you have to do. Um, like I said, the ingredients I mentioned, and then mix, mix it all up. I use my hand mixer. It makes things way easier to blend, especially when I'm spritzing um, alcohol. It makes it way easier. Um, just for instance, this is getting, both of them are getting a little dry since I started talking. Um, I started out, I got these, um, I ordered these molds right here and I absolutely do not like them. So I'm back to my um, plastic ornament mold. So um, what I love about the mixer and Seriously, all glory did. I don't know the lady's name, but she had um, uh, recommended for me to use a hand mixer um, instead of trying to hand mix. And I'll tell you what, I tried it and it is a freaking lifesaver. Now, I don't start doing it until after I add my oils. Um, otherwise, everything poofs and um, goes airborne. But it is so great, especially when you are adding your alcohol. It makes it so much easier. I'm going to do the same thing to my green over here real quick. mixed and um, ready to go.
And so what we do, and don't worry about my hands, guys. I've explained before, I can't um, wear gloves. It makes my hands go numb, but they, they are uh, sterile. Okay, so what I do for this design is, um, and this recipe, I've never had a problem with it not drying. Um, it turns nice and hard. I put my botanicals, some tapioca, stir, add in some of that, add in a little bit of my green here. I am using embeds, not not many. I'm just putting um, one on each side, and they're these um, lime green ones. And we should do the other side. A little bit of that color. Green. And then what I do is I'll put my finger down in the middle, right? And fill it with what other whatever color I'm working with because that'll turn into a solid embed when you're done. There you go. And then just gently, like I've explained in other videos, it's, you know, I, I uh, get asked a lot. I see the question a lot. Why do my bombs um, sink? What's a recipe for a bomb that doesn't sink? And I'll tell you what, this is my personal opinion. Other people may um, disagree, but in my personal opinion, there is no such thing as a recipe for a floating bomb. It's all in technique of um, how you uh, pack your bomb because I can pack this so damn hard that it will just clump right to the bottom. It's like a trial and error till you get the technique down. And then you'll know it, the exact right pressure. Perfect. Let's see, there we go. Beautiful. And another trick I wanted to show you guys is um, whenever I make bath bombs, or actually any sort of fizzy anything, I always have water, and I always test my um, my mixture before I start making. Like you see that? That's absolutely perfect. Oops, the foam got in the way of that one going down, but as you can see foam got in the way but you can see you see how look at that thick foam just off that teaspoon and that's the um, the milk powder um, actually you know what there is one thing and I'll add it when I add my um, my colors I add a tablespoon of um, glycerin into that one but um, it's mainly the milk powder um, that gives it that. Now, it doesn't create bubbles like SLSA would, but you can see, look at, look at that um, creamy lather. Okay, so let's do another one here. Oh, let me wipe my hand. Ooh, I wanted to show you guys since I'm on here real quick. I scored this at a yard sale or not a yard sale, thrift store, and it's like a pill, big pill thing. I was going to, um, actually, we can just test it out right now. Because I always wanted to make like this bath bomb that, uh, that you could call like mom's chill pill or call it Prozac bath bomb. Let's see if it even works. If it don't work, it's not much of a loss. I only paid 15 cents for it. Looks like I didn't smash it. Well, 
Looks like if I, I, it looks like I need to put more in there and compress it more. Um, but it looks like it might, it might work. I'll have to play with it. Okay, let's get some more of these going on. Um, glitter. Yeah, I love this uh, recipe. It, um, it's so soothing with the, the oils and, um, Another trick, if you're putting botanicals on the top, put a little bit and kind of just put just a little bit in there because what it'll do is it'll hold on to it so that it doesn't, um, so everything doesn't fly off if you try and move it. I'll do a uh, demo. Um, here soon two of these put a teaspoon in there of that like that can't forget our in bed i'm only putting one in bed in just to help it spin because these are more like a relaxing um they smell so amazing i can only um film for so long because um when i upped my um the video quality it only lets me film like 15 minutes you see how easily that comes look at that it's so pretty i can't wait to do a demo guys seriously i just freaking made this is uh, this is why i love this recipe i just made these before i started filming and it's like already, you hear that? It's already almost hard. That's why I love this recipe. I feel so bad when, um, you know, like my Starburst recipe or even some of my frostings, like um, some ladies have made them and then, um, you know, got a hold of, oh my God, what do I do? It's It's been days, it's not dry. And I just feel so bad because, um, I don't have that problem and sometimes when I do it depends on the type of uh, the time of year it is I will have to um, adjust my uh, cream of tartar to more or less depending on you know but I usually have no problem and with this recipe it's gonna create a white cloud on the top it, um, but since I put I put a little bit of a uh, yellow um, it's like a yellow chiffon with the um, the green now the green don't have milk powder in it so the the green is just gonna turn the bath water like this nice emerald um, pretty green color but because I have the milk and the little bit of um, glycerin and castile that I mixed my colors with um, that is what creates the foaming for me and um, you know it just breaks my heart when other ladies don't have luck with um, you know my recipes and I just feel bad because there's nothing I can do it doesn't mean they did anything wrong it's just kind of like that phenomena you know where a hundred ladies can get the same freaking recipe be handed the same recipe out of a cookbook and if you lined all 100 of those recipes they all look different and turned out different it's it's crazy it you know I I totally believe that 99 percent of bath product any craft actually isn't even necessarily um the recipe anyone can follow the recipe it's it's like technique and i i don't know i haven't been able to figure it out yet but you know all i can do is try i mean i know the stuff works for me and um you know Yeah, I was, I uh, ordered those um, stinking bath bomb molds and um, I just don't, 
don't like them. See these? Sometimes I'll do a double uh, embed where there's a yellow and the green on the outside. And I also want to take the time to uh, thank everybody from the um, bath bomb and um, bath bomb and soap safe uh, haven page. You guys are all great, and honestly, you give me way too much credit. I mean, I absolutely love the compliments and stuff, but, you know, you guys do amazing work, too. Um, you know, I look up to you guys, too. Perfect. Okay. I really do. I think... Um, some of you are just too hard on yourself, you know. I, uh, oh, by the way, if this cuts out, it's because I ran out of room on my um, camera um, and it stops itself. But I think some of you ladies are just too hard on yourself, you know. You can't, I'm even hard on myself sometimes, but you, you can't compare yourself to others. You, you know, you can only do what you can do. And beauty is totally in the eye of the beholder, you know, of what something looks like. Some people don't like. Um, fancy shit, you know, like there's people that, um, okay, even locally that, um, just want plain, plain Jane stuff and don't, don't necessarily like my, uh, fancy freaking piped on and floral and fancy this and fancy that, you know, so I also have to offer just the plain Jane, um, you know, stuff, and, like, one of you made soap roses, made a soap rose that blew mine out of the water, and it was, like, literally your first try, so, you know, you just, you guys gotta believe in yourself, and who cares what the next person's looks like, you know, as long as you made it with love, that's what makes it, you know, awesome, doesn't matter, comes down to oh that's stuck see that stuck I didn't um we'll use this one as the demo bomb but yeah it's been rough for me past couple of days because I um you know as you all know I lost my baby Jackson and I uh it's just really hard Oh, if you guys want to do a real, a, like, you're wanting to do, um, super botanical bombs, it's easy. What you do is you, um, let me see if I got something. You go like this, right? And then take something like, like a tablespoon and go like this and it creates a pocket inside, right? And then what you do is do this and if you want to really make it, you can put roses in it like so. And then let's cover that with green in bed like this. Lush has a bomb like that where um, they uh, have a whole pile of rose petals on the inside of the bomb. I don't know which one it's called. See? Just like that. So, I'm uh, running out of space on my phone. So I'm going to have to um, stop now, and um, my mixture's getting a little, whoops, a little dry. So I'm gonna have to remoisten it. So you guys saw the recipe. It is um, four cups baking soda. 
two cups citric acid, one cup cornstarch or tapioca starch, half cup cream of tartar, one cup powdered milk of your choice, um, one cup dead sea salt or any salt of your choice, and then I, I add an extra half cup of um, Epsom and pink Himalayan. Um, your oils, which is one cup oils, um, two thirds of it's hard oils, um, top it off the rest with soft oils. Um, and then, um, one ounce fragrance oil. And then I add, um, two to four tablespoons of, um, liquid glycerin and Castile soap mixed in with my colorant. Now you don't even have to, um, and if you want, if you want these super foamy, go ahead and add um, a fourth cup of SLSA if, if you choose into this recipe, but I don't find that I need it um, for this particular one, but, um, you know, some people really like the SLSA, so. All right, guys, and um, I also want to take the time to thank everybody who, um, gave me so much love about Jackson yesterday. Um, it was super, super hard. Um, hard on me, the whole family. Um, I loved him so much. And, and, uh, and also guys, don't forget the Sunday best of show contest, um, that ends, um, next Saturday. So if you want to enter, um, just enter your photo and a brief, um, description in the file entitled Sunday's Best of Show Contest and you get a um, whoever wins, whoever gets the most likes by win, uh, Sunday the 24th at midnight gets a $75 gift basket from me. Alright guys, so I'm going to um, get off and finish making these up, and um, I hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions about the recipe, um, just give me a holler, but I'm telling you, this is a tried and true. I absolutely love it. Um, um, just It's just a great overall fail-proof bath bomb. Um, so... All right, guys, I will um, talk to you later, and I will upload a, a demo of the bombs, too. All right, bye.